Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Relic Space. We're doing it again. And I'm going to be doing a couple of games again. You know, like, um, a lot of these games are in early access. And when I cover them, they're in early access and they're still early in their development. And even if they are fully out, they still might get updates and upgrades and, and all kinds of extra content and stuff. Relic Space was very early when I first looked at it. And I think it is 100% worth coming back to probably at least a few more times because it's going to be a while before it comes back fully um so i'd like to you i'd like to it check to it fall. out oh. yo I, i'm just gonna throw this out there maybe just like make don't just remove those engine sounds a hundred percent just get rid of them <laughs> they're doing nothing for that cutscene. like absolutely nothing all right. Um, yeah, it's gonna be worth coming back to these games because they are like heavy in development, and it would be like it would be, it would be good to see what uh, how they have improved or how they have progressed. Uh, this is a uh, traditional roguelike. It's a little bit different, but it's mostly uh, traditional. It's a hex-based one for one thing. You can cycle camera with can't see. Okay, so we have like top down if we want. So um, this game is a not just a positional tactics game, but also a um, kind of like a, it's a rotational tactics game. Like the the direction of your ship matters for movement. Um, you can like for instance, you can see we're we're gonna take no time here. This is energy actually. It's gonna take no energy to move forward, right? We can we can move our ship. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna take a little bit of energy. Uh, and sometimes it's worth doing that, but for the most part, moving forward is always going to be maybe the thing we want to do. Is it? Is, is it having me rotate around? Okay, your ship is a member of a friendly faction. You can only fire at hostile enemies. So if I click on this, um, we're gonna. It's gonna take a little bit of an extra energy and time to rotate and then move in that direction. All right. Good work, but there is much more to do and we need to act fast. The station had over 200 people on board. I'll begin a search of the wreckage for survivors. You go to Trico Station Sector and coordinate additional assistance with Commander Devos. Sector unlocked. Current uh, mission requires you to travel to a different sector, so we will. I'm assuming that we're gonna have all kinds of really cool warp animations when uh, when the game is fully released, right? Right, devs? Uh, left click to contact. Greetings, do you have any need of assistance? No. Gas Cloud provides 10% cover. So we have all kinds of different uh, kind of hexes and environments and uh, atmospheric kind of stuff that will lend us a little bit of a tactical advantage or disadvantage. Okay, so we can refuel here, which we're going to want to do, but we're also going to want to hand in our quest by talking to Devos. So we got a bit of credits and experience. My my hope and my uh, excitement for this game is that it's going to have a very kind of open sandbox nature, and maybe we can even do some fun stuff like space trading and stuff, like bounty hunting. Like I'd love to, I'd love to have a tactical roguelike uh, that's like you know, a space sandbox with a story. Um, I guess in that respect, I what I want is the, the, the combat and mechanics of this, but maybe the sandbox nature of like uh, approaching infinity, which was actually pretty good. But I appreciate how like, like there's, we're, we're, we're focused a little bit more on ship combat in this one and not so much on planet side combat or exploration. Thank you for seeing me. We all deeply regret the loss of Icarus Station and those who lived and worked there. Sure, Captain Jorrell will appreciate this. I am ready to help. Tell me more. I'm sorry I'm skipping the story, but I did read it before. And when I actually do a playthrough of this game, when it's like closer to release, then I will do it in full. I would appreciate any advice you can give me. Sure. Uh, operatives are allowed significant freedom in choosing where and how to apply their talents. Speak to... The mission directors on this and other stations to find out what missions are currently most urgent. Uh, never mind, I'm ready to serve the order now. Okay. So uh, so we can do some trade. Uh, we should refuel. We'll refuel. Can we get some trade? Sure. So, yeah, we already have space trading, which I, I always like space trading. I always appreciate it. Um, I'm not sure, like, what 
there's every every space game has a different way of conveying that resources are cheaper on this station than others and i i honestly never know it's never clear to me like for instance this down arrow amount and storage none regional shortage highest price so that me so you, you for me like this arrow would to me indicate that um this is the cheapest price down arrow means price low but no in fact this means that nickel low price high iron on the other hand is regional production lowest price so we could buy iron uh we could buy a lot of iron we'll buy well sure we'll buy some iron we could buy more iron maybe no we can't we only have a certain amount of cargo and then there's like relics that we're going to want to acquire um factions so there's factions we can probably do missions for and then improve our relations with them events wow uh and then of course you can like improve your ship we have a certain amount of uh weight we can take we could probably eventually get better ships with more weight class um and we have cargo with half a ton of iron. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how it, it just told me, but uh, I would like to take a mission maybe. I guess we'll talk to Eris Arnav. A surveillance mission available. There we go. As I'm sure you're aware, we need to uh, be extra vigilant in defending our sector given recent unit, union aggression. However, we have just recently received scan probe data showing union ships entering the sector uh all right so we're gonna need to attack uh, basically defend against these guys so we have this one focused we would like to move away actually we have no movement bonus we were like pointed in a hundred percent the the worst position Luckily, that guy zoomed away, so we can deal with him later. Shield's low. Why is he firing on someone else? That's weird. Can we move? We can't move in that direction. We might have to take on this guy instead. Where are, where are our shields? There's a there's a way to read a lot of this. So like we have. Um, status shields there. I, I can't, unfortunately I can't remember. So it's, it's, right now, I guess they're normal. So this is our status and then everything has a status. Everything can get damaged. Um, during combat, you can activate skills by left clicking the hex icons of in the bottom right corners. Okay. So we have, we have some abilities. We can re re uh, repair equipment. Um, I don't know if anything is damaged right now. We have low shields. Okay, we have low shields. That's the only thing we have to worry about right now. So we probably want to do um, like a precision attack. If an enemy ship's shields are down, target an equipment item automatically causing equipment damage. Okay. Or we could do a power shot. Let's do, let's do a power shot. Ta target out of range, of course. They're quite fast also. They're like 100% just zooming away and I'm unable to keep up. This thing is like in my way. <laughs> I don't know. They, I guess they're recovering their shields. We are as well, so that's okay. But they have nowhere left to go. So let's do a power shot. When in combat, a panel show, appears showing detailed information about chance to hit, damage, etc. for firing your current selected target. You can enable or disable this panel using the target analysis button at the bottom of the screen. So fire from current position, we have a 90% chance to hit. I'm surprised we didn't hit it. We didn't shoot it. We still have our shields. Um, do they have their shields? Difficult to tell. No, they don't. It's fully red. So now we can do a precision attack. Um, so we want to hit their... I don't know. They're small laser. So now their their laser is less effective. Shields low. Um we're in quite a lot of 
trouble. But we've enhanced our, our weapons so we can try and do... I just want to take out this guy. Our shields are down. So now we're, we're going to be taking on actual damage. This guy is dead. So now we want to evade... We're, we're gaining, we're, we get the evasion bonus. A piece of equipment on your ship has been damaged and has acquired a negative status effect. View details on your current equipment status by left clicking the systems. So what what has a, oh, our generator has a negative status effect, but we can repair it. Cannot fire your weapons in the same turn as you do repairs. So we were gonna repair and that has repaired our generators. That's okay, we, we had an extra turn to do that because he wasn't pointed in the right way, and so we were able to kind of evade around him. So now what we want to do is kind of carefully swerve back towards him so that they're in range. Um, and then do like a power shot. Oh, we missed. Oh, that's not good. We're, this asteroid is going to provide us with a little bit of extra cover. He's going to unfortunately leave. Okay, that was nice because we got to fire on them and then they had to fire through the debris. But the thing is, is that now we're in a, we're not in a great position um, with our, with our angle. Piece of equipment. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I've already repaired it. It's already not a problem. We'll power shot them. So their shields are down. So now we can do another precision attack. Um, so this is the, this is why you want to maybe have manual on because it means you can actually plan your attacks. So now we want to do this. So we'll, we'll do an attack on the beam. Oh, we are, we killed them. So, uh, Eris Arnav, excellent. I hope this will be an important step in deterring further union incursions. We got some experience, um, completing this mission has deduced, deducted one from the union surveillance stat and added one to the orders. So we got some reputation for one, but not the other. I think we leveled up. We gained uh, we gained our, our shield back. Reputation insufficient for mission. That's okay. So we're gonna need to repair and refuel. Uh, we did indeed level up. So plus five percent to hit with missile weapons. We don't have missile weapons. I remember taking this this choice in the, la the previously was uh, also similar. Plus 5% to hit with laser weapons. So we're going to take the... No, wait a minute. Can we improve these? You already have that. No. So we're going to take this instead. Mission available. So there's a mission available here. Special mission available. Thank you. I will travel to the Lorca sector immediately. All right. We're going to the Lorca sector. Uh, that would be right here. I'm not sure. where are, are We're in Trico. So, okay. New mission targets. Maybe we can uh, trade our iron when we get there. Station expansion. Order constructed a new station module trade in McDowell Station. Okay. So this tells us what other people are doing or what other factions are doing. That's going to continue happening. I remember that being a thing. You have been intercepted by hostile Union forces. Scans indicate three ships with the following armaments. Okay, so we're going to have to take on three ships. Um, can we, oh, I meant to like contact them. Ship is not responding. Okay. So did we, we just fired, right? So we can't do a power shot. Power shot done. Um, I think that's there. Here's a tip. When set to automatic, your weapons AI will decide if it's best to fire before or after moving. That is from the start point of your, or the end point of your move, considering the location of your current target in manual mode. By contrast, you must manually select a target either before or after moving, assuming there are hostile ships in range, or use the skip weapons button. I, yeah, I, I sussed that out a little bit. Um, so I think their, their uh, weapons are down. I'm in manual mode right now, so I can, I have a bit more options. So I'm gonna try and hit their generator. It, uh, it will let you know every time when you have your weapon set to manual that you haven't fired your weapons. <laughs> Okay, let's do, um, well, we can't do another power shot. We don't have it. Well, I guess we could. He's almost dead. Um, their shields are up, though. 
So let's do, let's move around these, uh, de this debris. It's going to offer us a little bit of cover. We're out of range now though. I do kind of wish it was, it would be smart enough to know that if I'm not in range of anything that I, I'm not going to use my weapons. Okay. So now we're going to do another precision and we're going to hit their generator again, because <laughs> if it's just unstable, it might be that we can destroy them in like one hit. Luckily, we're only taking on one at a time. That's that's important. So okay, we got we got rid of one. We still have our shields, so I'm doing pretty good on the tactical front. We can do a power shot on them. We did not hit them. They they got to recover a little bit of their shields. There we go. They're dead now. Uh, welcome. We've been expecting you. How much do you know about our research here? You want to know what caused the fall? You can rely on me. I will begin immediately. Sorry, I know I'm skipping the uh, story. So can we trade uh, regional shortage, highest price? So we can sell our iron here at a nice amount. In fact, I think that's more than double. Nice. We just did a little bit of trading. Cool. So uh, sodium is worth buying here maybe. But I think I'll hold out for a bit. Uh, we could buy another weapon. I kind of wish uh, if we have these icons to represent what we have on our ship... If we could also have these icons uh, on the, the items in the station so I know how they apply to us, how they are relevant. Um, AI target, use AI to enhance weapon targeting, plus 5% to hit. Fission generator. We can also check out the shipyard. We can buy a wasp if we wanted, but I don't. I, don't, I wonder if there's like going to be um, ability to have like a squad in the in the full version. All right, so we're gonna head off to um, acquire the relic. There's a big, big lad here. You have been intercepted by hostile Union forces. Threat assessment moderate. Scans indicate one ship with the following armament. Beam laser and cannon. Okay, that's not great. We want to get out of range maybe, and then can we do a power shot? No, they are out of range. Makes sense. Now we can do a power shot and then move. Uh, we'll continue firing on them. I should fire on them before I move. We're do we're okay, we haven't actually taken a hit yet. They are forced to move around the asteroid, so that's all right. Are they just taking time to recover? No, they're not. We'll do another power shot, so now their shields are down. We are unfortunately like within the danger zone, but now we can hit them. Uh, we could hit their generator. I, I like to hit the generator because on like I hope that that means they don't have as much energy to fire anything and also recover their shields or stuff like that. But I'm not sure if that's the case. It is disabled, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I f no, no, they're still able to fire on us. Are we? Are, is this guy also a problem now? Oh no, he's helping us. Oh, excellent. So he was killed by the other the other group. I, I wonder, are they okay with us? Ship is not responding. They are firing on us. Okay, that's that sucks. I appreciate their help. Sucks that they we have to destroy them now. Let's go take this now. Um, among the right, you find an advanced small shield. Cool. We could probably sell that. Our shields are half damage now. We miss with our power shot. That sucks. That's the space relic equivalent of losing your balloon. An enemy ship will be destroyed by internal damage, a fire on board, rather than directly by weapons. You can check the status of a ship's equipment by left-clicking. Okay, interesting. We still are being chased down, though. We would like to run maybe a little bit so we can recover our shields. All of our systems are okay right now. So I, I feel pretty good about how I'm doing with our uh, our tactics. I have to do something with this large asteroid. Sometimes an enemy should, yeah, 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 I gotcha. So we wanna curve around a little bit so that we get in range and we can start hitting them. We did hit them with the power shot, that was nice. We're gonna circle around just so that we can hit them, hit them when they move in range, but then uh, they have a harder time of hitting us maybe. Nice. So now we can start doing precision shots. Um, let's hit their radar. I don't know. I wish I was a bit more original than that. Ouch. Okay, our shield is depleted. 
Um, let's go ahead and divert power to weapons and then hit them. Nope, never mind. So something did take a hit there. Medium laser beam is what? Enhanced, oh right, makes sense. I'm not sure if like hitting something from behind is like, is that the optimal route? Is that the optimal way to do damage? Nice, finally. Uh, all right, so let's do what we need to do here. Mine provides 100% cover. Okay, you den identify and retrieve the relic from the asteroid using the hollow scans you were given. It will now re need to be delivered safely to Lewis Station. Continue. Successful, you are, have succeeded in assisting the research team at Lorca Station. Get some experience, some extra credits, some reputation. Okay, Commander Devos. You have now completed the tutorial missions of this version of Rel Space Relic. Your goal in this demo version is to achieve 10 economic or military victory by completing random missions. You have access, you have access to eight sectors within which to achieve this goal. So we got some more credits, we got some more experience. Tell me more about this demo team. <laughs> As part of our demo team, as part of this team, you may use your initiative to explore the different sectors of this ruined solar system. So this is the, in short form, this is the, uh, you're done and, and now you can uh, test your might, your metal against, against the sandbox, which I, I can appreciate. And that's gonna do it. This is a really cool game. I'm looking forward to seeing how it shapes up. There's a, a lot of depth to it, but it, you can honestly play it pretty casually. It's not uh, not one of those r traditional roguelikes that you're gonna have to like, you know, break out a textbook as big as your arm to in order to kind of like grasp. It's, it's a, there's a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to positional and rotational tactics, but honestly, they work really well. It, they, they, they benefit the player in a lot. Um, can I, okay. I, I guess I got caught up in, in moving or attacking another ship. Let's uh let's rotate back. Oh, there's another one. Okay. You know what? Let's let's just let's end it on a high note. I don't want to end up killing this run after I've been having such a good time with it. Let's uh, divert power and we'll just we'll just escape. We'll set this to automatic and we'll Oh no. Oh god. Void bomb. So we just lost all of our shields. We can come back to the station and, and repair, but I'm gonna leave it there. It's a good good place to leave it. Um, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this and thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time when Relic Space gets a few more updates. We'll see uh, how it has progressed and how it, uh, you know, how it feels. Maybe, maybe a year from now, let's say. Um, take it easy, I'll see you guys next time.